All right, I'm done with math for now. Let's see what's my next subject is. Okay, I have Mrs. Jacobs, which is my study hall. All right, I will take my book with me so I can read it for study hall. All right, time to go. Hey, out of my way, punk. I'm trying to go to my class, which is calculus. That's not the way you speak to someone like that. You have to say excuse me. I don't care. I can be rude to anyone whenever I want to. Now get out of my way. I'm going to class. No, not until you apologize for the way you're speaking to me like that. Well, guess what? I don't care what I did is wrong. You should be focused on yourself. Well, I can't be focusing on myself if you hadn't been so rude to me. Once again, I'm not moving your way until you apologize for being rude to me for no reason. And what is that you're holding? Like will I tell you? No, now, get out of my way so I can go to study hall. Nope, not until you hand that book to me. What? No, I'm not letting some people who aren't yours take my stuff from me. And why would you need my book anyway? Because I forgot mine at home. Well, if you had been so lazy and focused on school rather than video games, then you would have been more smart. How did you know that? It doesn't matter, you still shouldn't slack off from video games. Next time, check what you have before forgetting it again. Are you talking back to me? No, I'm only giving you some advice, not talking back to you. Whatever. Hand the book to me right freaking now. I'm still not giving you my book. I need that for study hall. Now screw off. Did you tell me to screw off? Yes, I did. And what are you gonna do about it? That's it. I had enough of you punks such as you. If you refuse to hand me that book, then let's have a fight in the hallway. Oh, so you wanna go? Bring it on then. Can you girls explain to me why you both are fighting in the hallway? As you can see, Rosie refuses to hand me back my book multiple times. Not only that, but she threatened me with a knife. That wasn't true, Principal Collingwood. Diane was rude to me and forced me to hand her my book. So that's how we start a fight. Alright, I think I heard you two enough. I'll start with you, Diane. Diane, you don't ever force a student to hand his her book. You know it's a crime to steal others from students. And as for you, Rosie, if Diane ever tried to steal your book again, you have to comply with an adult to sort this out instead of fighting with her. You could have hurt Diane, including yourself, getting hurt. I guess you're right, Principal Collingwood. I should have done the right thing. All right, here are your consequences. Diane, since you're being rude to Rosie and tried to take her book, you'll be suspended for three weeks. As for you, Rosie, since this is never the first time you fought with another student in one punch, you'll be suspended as twice as Diane's suspension. Now, both of you leave my office, and I'll tell your parents what you both have done. Diane, we are very mad at you. We can't believe you got suspended from school for three weeks for being rude and trying to take another student's book. This is the eighth suspension that you had this school year. You will be grounded until you are no longer suspended from school. Go to your room now. Rosie. Me and your mother are very disappointed with you. We can't believe you got suspended from school for fought with another student. Rosie, I thought you're better not to do that. But dad and mum, Diane was saying rude things about me and trying to take my book from me. That's why I had to fight her. That's still no excuse to have a fight with another student. If that student was trying to steal your things again, you should have an adult to sort this out, and then this fight would have happened. I agree with our parents. You should have been mature enough and go tell an adult instead of fighting with Diane. As much as we all hate Diane, I'll never fight with a troublemaker. Yeah, I have to agree with your sister. You should have complied to an adult to sort this student out. Yeah, you're right. Now go to your room now. <laughs> 